Hey girls, it's Miss Katie, and today we're going to do a super fun and simple craft. Hey girls, it's Miss Katie, and today we're going to do a super fun and simple arts and crafts project. Uh, what this is, is kind of like, they're going to be like wind chimes, decorations. So what you're going to need is beads, any kind of beads will work, anything you got. Uh, some string, I personally have yarn because that's what we had here. And again, any kind of string will work. Um, a stick, you can actually use um, a stick that you find outside. That would be kind of cool, like kind of nature art, but any kind of like long stick like this would work. Um, an old pencil, an old paintbrush, something like that, anything like that would totally work. Um, and some scissors just so we can cut the yarn. So what we're gonna do first is I personally wanna kinda decorate the stick. Now, you can do whatever you want to it. You can paint it, you can use markers on it, like you can do whatever you want. Personally, for me, I'm gonna wrap it in yarn. So I'm going to grab some purple. I'm feeling kind of purpley, so I'm just un <sighs> unwinding, whoop, unwinding some of it over here. Off screen, that's, well, you know what? <laughs> there it goes. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna unwind a good bit and cut it off. You know what, I'll just do this, okay. So I've unwinded a bit. So I'm gonna start at one end. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot on one end. Okay, I'm gonna double knot it just so it stays on. Um, if you want to, after, add glue. You can, might be a good idea, but right now, I'm just gonna start wrapping it like this. See, just like that. And you can do one color, you can do two colors, you can do four, you can do as many as colors as you'd like. Oop, here's a little extra one, we'll toss that later. Again, I like this because it's kind of, it's it's very open in how it's creative. It's very, very simple. So you can kind of take, take the basics of it and run with it. Um, I say wind chime because it kind of takes on that shape. Um, and you'll see it, you'll see it later in the video when we actually start putting the tassels on. Um, but if the beads aren't very heavy um, and don't really like bounce against each other, they're not gonna make that much of a, of a noise like a real wind chime would. Um, but again, you know, that depends on your beads. I mean, you can literally hang whatever you want on it. Um, again, that kind of creative, creative freedom is all for you guys. So you can kind of do whatever you like. Oh, this actually works a little bit faster. Look at that. See, Miss Katie learned something today too. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna get it started for you guys um, because it's gonna take a little while. I'm actually going to just get it started, show you kind of how it's gonna look, and then I'm gonna finish it off camera and then show you guys what it looks like later. Okay. <laughs> So again, you can do kind of whatever you want. And I've seen this before and it's actually something I've really wanted to try doing myself. Um, and I think it'd be a really cool art project and kind of hobby to start doing myself just at home. So this will give me kind of a good chance to get some practice on it. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what your guys' is going to look like. I'm sure you guys are going to get super creative and have a bunch of cool stuff. So we're going to get this started. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then we're going to move on to the next part, okay? So give me one second here. Okay. So I went ahead, and I went ahead and finished doing, wrapping the whole thing. And I cut a little bit of string, just, just a little bit. Um, kind of about, I would say about the length of your actual stick. So I went ahead and I tied one end to the end. And this one's actually a little bit long. I am gonna go ahead and tie this around the other end. So this is gonna be where it actually hangs from. So this is how it's gonna hang, right? Just like that. 
So we're gonna go ahead and tie that. I may have actually done it a little short, but that's okay. It's still gonna hang just fine. Do, do, do. Okay, one second here. I gotta look at this up close. All right. Okay, so now that both ends are tied, it's gonna look something kind of like this, right? So like, let's say this is where the nail's gonna be. It's gonna hang kind of something like that, right? Now here comes the fun part. Then we're gonna waste this. Uh, take a string, and now this is the kind of cool part, is you can actually make them even. You can make them uneven, you can make them different colors. I'm gonna be using some of that blue later. So now we're gonna have a string, right? So any kind of string. I'm gonna tie it around here. Okay, anywhere you want it. Remember, you're gonna be doing a lot, a um, bunch of them. Okay, so make sure your knot's tight. Okay, all right. Okay, so now that we have the string tied on there, I'm gonna decorate this with beads. Um, I, like I said, any kind of beads that you have laying around, these are what we had laying around here at Girls Inc. So I'm, you can do as many beads as you like, you can do as few beads as you like, you can have just some hanging on the end, you can make the whole thing beaded. I'm probably gonna make mine like half and half, I think. Um, use whatever kind of beads you want, whatever patterns you want, you know, get really creative with it, do what you want. So I'm going to do a little bit of a pattern here. If the ends get a little frayed, um, you can kind of wet your finger with your tongue for a second, and it'll help kind of keep those frizzies down. Okay. Now we're going to do another three. And then we're gonna tie this off. I'm gonna show you what it's, look, it's gonna look like. And then I'm actually going to jump away because it's gonna take a little bit for me to do it. I'm gonna jump away again. And I'm gonna show you guys what it comes out at the end, okay? So let me just finish this up. Go ahead and tie another knot. Actually, I would tie it, if you have it like a perler bead like this one, I would tie it with the bead. I can show you how to do that. So here's the bead, right? You're gonna make sure it's in the loop when we're tying the knot, like that. See, like that. And then, there we go. So now, when I hang it, I've got, oop, got some, I've got something like that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go do some more of these. And then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like at the end. All right, be right back. Okay, guys, it took me a little minute there, but I went ahead and I finished it. Um, those are my beading kind of patterns. I'm a pattern person. I like patterns. So this is kind of what it looks like. Again, you can do whatever you want to do. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I can't wait to see yours. Love you, girls. Bye.